fruit fly genetics. In 1910, biologist Thomas Hunt Morgan was working in a small Columbia University lab. Then he spotted something strange, a male fruit fly with white eyes. All the others had red. Curious, he bred it with a normal red-eyed female. The first generation? All red-eyed babies. Nothing unusual. Yet. But in the next generation, some males had white eyes again. Morgan was puzzled. Something mysterious was happening. After careful study, he uncovered the secret. The gene for eye color was on the X chromosome. A tiny fly, buzzing around rotting bananas, had revealed a huge truth about inheritance. From that moment, chromosomes became the roadmap of genetics, changing science forever. Quantum cat teleportation. In 1997, physicist Anton Zeelinger attempted something that sounds impossible. Teleportation. Not humans, not cats. A photon. The tiniest particle of light, a building block of everything around us. Here's the weird part. Inspired by Schrodinger's cat, the famous thought experiment, where a cat can be both alive and dead at the same time, Zeelinger's team linked two photons in a mysterious connection. Change one, and the other reacted instantly, even across distance. No signal, no delay, just a connection that defied intuition. For the first time, quantum teleportation worked in reality, proving the strangest corners of physics weren't just theory. No cats disappeared, yet. But the experiment hinted at a future where information, maybe even matter, could move in ways we can barely imagine. Quantum entanglement tests. Imagine you have two dice, one in New York, the other in Tokyo. Every time one lands on six, the other does too. No signal, no delay, just perfectly connected. That's quantum entanglement. Two tiny particles, like photons, created together stay linked, even when separated by miles, continents, or the universe itself. Whatever happens to one instantly affects the other. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. He couldn't believe it. He was sure nothing could travel faster than light, but the particles didn't care about his rules. In the 1980s, physicist Alain Aspect tested it. He sent pairs of entangled photons in opposite directions. When one was measured, the other reacted instantly, exactly as theory predicted. It shouldn't have been possible, but it was. Entanglement was real. Today, this strange connection powers quantum computers, ultra-secure communications, and even teleportation experiments, proof that some of the weirdest science actually works. Elephant Cognition In 2006, scientists placed a giant mirror inside the Bronx Zoo. It wasn't decoration, it was a test. A test of self-awareness. Three elephants approached, curious. They touched the mirror, peeked behind it, studied it carefully. Then something remarkable happened. One elephant, happy, reached up and touched a white mark on her forehead. A mark she could only see in the mirror, not on the glass, on herself. It proved what no one expected. Elephants can recognize themselves. They understand, this is me. The mirror test had worked on humans, dolphins, and apes, but never on a creature this large, this intelligent, this emotionally complex. In that moment, scientists realized, behind those deep, thoughtful eyes is more than memory or emotion. It's awareness, a creature that truly knows itself. Rat maze navigation. Scientists once built tiny cities just for rats. Little streets, tunnels, even roundabouts. But this wasn't a playground, it was a memory test. Each maze hid food rewards and researchers watched closely. At first, rats wandered aimlessly, bumping into walls and dead ends. Then something remarkable happened. After a few runs, the rats moved with purpose. They remembered the turns. They knew the paths. Scientists realized rats weren't just reacting, they were thinking. Inside their tiny heads, they were building mental maps of the maze, just like you remember the way home without needing directions. This discovery changed neuroscience forever, proving that even the smallest brains can plan, imagine, and navigate with surprising intelligence. VR Empathy Experiment Scientists once asked, what if we could feel life from another creature's point of view? To find out, they did something extraordinary. They turned humans into animals using virtual reality. Participants wore VR headsets and saw the world through the eyes of cows, pigs, or even sea turtles swimming through polluted oceans. They didn't just watch, they lived it. One moment, you're grazing peacefully in a field. The next, you're walking toward a slaughterhouse. Or swimming in the ocean, only to realize it's filled with plastic. These weren't games, they were empathy experiments. And the results were astonishing. Participants began to care more deeply about the creatures they became. One of the strangest experiments ever. Not about technology, but about testing the human heart. Frog levitation. In the 1990s, scientists did something that seemed impossible. They made a living frog float in midair. It wasn't magic, 
It was physics. The frog was placed in a powerful magnetic field. The forces acted on the water and molecules in its body, causing it to levitate, hovering without touching anything. For a brief moment, the frog defied gravity. It looked like science fiction, but it was real. This experiment proved that diamagnetism, a property of all materials that repels magnets, can lift even a living creature. And beyond the spectacle, it showed something incredible. Even ordinary animals can reveal extraordinary truths about the natural world. Microgravity Slime Mold In the 2000s, scientists sent a tiny slime mold into space aboard the International Space Station. Yes, a blob. Not an animal. Not a robot. Just a squishy, brainless organism. On Earth, slime molds are famous for solving mazes, finding food, and remembering paths all without a brain, but floating weightlessly in microgravity? That was a whole new challenge. And then something incredible happened. Even without gravity, the slime mold learned to navigate its environment. It spread toward food, avoided obstacles, and adapted to conditions it had never faced before. For scientists, this wasn't just weird. It revealed a shocking truth. Even the simplest life forms can learn, adapt, and solve problems in extreme environments. From a tiny blob drifting in space, researchers gained insights that could one day help humans understand life beyond Earth, and maybe even rethink what intelligence really means. Plant communication. Trees aren't just silent giants and they talk to each other. In the 1990s, ecologist Suzanne Simard made a groundbreaking discovery. Underground, roots connect through networks of fungi, forming a hidden system she called the Wood Wide Web. Through this network, trees send chemical messages, warning neighbors about pests, disease, or drought. If a tree is attacked by insects, nearby trees prepare defenses, producing chemicals to protect themselves, like a living early warning system. Older mother trees even share nutrients with younger saplings helping them survive. And here's the strange part. Some trees sabotage strangers, withholding nutrients or releasing toxins to keep competitors away. What looks like a quiet forest is actually a bustling communication network, with trees cooperating, warning, and competing, all without voices or brains. Understanding this hidden world could help protect forests, improve crops, and even inspire new technologies that mimic nature's intelligence. AI predicting human behavior. Imagine a machine that knows what you're about to do before you even do it. In research labs, participants were asked to make simple choices, like picking between two images or pressing a left or right button. The AI didn't guess randomly. It tracked tiny clues, your eye movements, hand twitches, even subtle brain signals and predicted your next move. The results were astonishing. In some experiments, the AI guessed correctly up to 80% of the time, seconds before participants even realized their own decision. People were amazed and a little unnerved. It felt like your thoughts weren't entirely your own. This isn't magic. It's data, patterns, and probabilities. But it raises a chilling question. If machines can anticipate our decisions, what does it mean for free will, privacy, and control over our choices? Even a simple AI experiment can make us rethink how predictable humans really are and how technology is learning to peer inside our minds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.